want to tell me anything? Sometimes the people live far away from Johannesburg. They came to get initiation only, you see? So they went back to their hometown and they continued to meditate. Some people don't have time to go to Johannesburg to group meditation, but they continue to meditate at home. You know, once the seed is sown, <laughs> it, is, it continues to germinate. Yeah? Because they live in another town. See? We have four Scottish people and th who want initiation and they could not come because of money and various reasons. Mm. But the two who did come, are actually one is from Fintorn, you know, the place with the vegetables mm. we were talking about. Ah, yeah, yeah, the big, big potato. Mm -hmm. mm. And he's actually from Norway, but I put a lot of sample booklets into Fintorn, and I just find it funny that other people who are not Scottish actually come, and the other person is from Slovenia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but the Scottish people are at home. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. No, no. <laughs> Each one has different circumstances. You know, some not everybody has a financially mm -hmm. a sufficient to buy a ticket and to stay in a foreign land for a long time. Yeah, mm. it looks good, <laughs> European and America, but many of them don't have money. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> mm. And uh, also, Scotland and England, we've been actually waiting a long, long time now for a messenger. No, so everybody waits a long time, honey. Because I was I was <laughs> reading in, in this one article in the magazine that some messengers get um, snatched away, they get married and go away, and you don't have many messengers. Is that true? Well, it happens all the time. Mm. Yeah. Even then, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of work to do, you know? All the messengers also have to stay home and do a lot of work, like cutting editing video, video edi editing the magazine and some or whatever, the story you write to them and help me answering letters, you know? So you really would need more. And meditate more. and then cook for themselves and cook for everybody else when they come and earn money so that we can, you know, so help ourselves and help people. There's so many things to do, not just to go and, 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 mm -hmm. and talk mm -hmm. to you, you see what I mean? Yeah. So do you need more messengers? Well, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah? Mm. It's not easy. Because if a new messenger, I also have to train and take a long time, you know. And uh, sometimes people are good, sometimes are not. And not every uh, residence can, can be a messenger, you know, also. And a lot of uh, English, is they can speak English, but Sometimes not fluently, and mm -hmm. it's just so, so many things. So it's lucky whoever gets initiated is very lucky already. So don't ever complain anything at all. <laughs> yeah, we send messengers out all the time, but to too many countries, mm -hmm. you see? And also we have too much work to do. Apart from my lecture, you know, everything, and they have to go, and then they have to go home, and you know what I mean? And they have to study English, and Sometimes get visa, it takes a long time, uh, so many things. Yeah, and we have to do our work at home, you know. Also, a lot of work to do, yeah. Uh, our business, you know, <laughs> earning money and all that, apart from everything else, yeah. We are very busy folk. So behave yourself, try to meditate well. <laughs> yeah, we maybe we could do with some more, like, uh, good and able and sincere and uh, high-level English-speaking <laughs> messenger. Yeah, because that's needed for other countries also. Uh, Chinese, we also don't ever have enough, but at least we have more than uh, English-speaking. The Chinese uh, can speak also English, but not as good as if they are native or if they are European or American. That's another thing. And also, it's not everyone can be resident. They like to, but when they come in, the life is a little bit more ascetic than outside, you know? And you can watch movies so often, and you have to do a lot of work, and meditate more than people, and do a lot of things in the center or outside, you know? Anytime, get ready for anything. Cannot say no. You see, like, uh, 
when you become resident, you're not uh, owned by yourself anymore. You're owned by the state, <laughs> one in state. <laughs> so not too many people can stay long. Hmm? Next one. In Oregon, you know, the people cannot, not, you know, now they can see you on cable TV. Now they can see you even on internet. Uh, lecturing videos, we got a lot of feedback from people because um, they they like it so much. Not you, they see you only on cable TV, so a lot of people become vegetarian, even though they cannot initiate it right away. But we got a lot of good feedback from them. Mm, yeah. good, good. Yeah, that's nice news. <laughs> <laughs> it's unconditional news, <laughs> neutral news. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, some disciples from in our center are very uh, sincere, diligent practice, and uh, some of them are students. They would like to uh, use the uh, spring break or summer break to have a retreat at our center in the mountain. Uh, I was uh, requested to s allow them to have a retreat. Sure, they can do. You're Thank welcome. you, Master. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Take care of them. Mm -hmm. Show them how to survive in the wild. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have uh, asked the same question to the resident at uh, our center, and they prefer not to have a non-resident to have a retreat. Non-vegetarian? Non-resident. Non-resident? Why? No. No. Uh, the so center is for everybody. So it's OK for? Don't say anything like that. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Master. Oh, they just want go there to retreat, and you say only for residents. Who is a resident there? Well, where? Oh, San Jose. San Jose. Uh, how come have res residents? They are only allowed to stay there. It's my center. Okay. Anybody can go there and have retreat if they want to. Yeah, it's literally my center, even though it's not in my name. I pay for it. Everything. So don't talk nonsense. Tell them, don't talk nonsense. Thank you, Master. <laughs> it's also their center, yeah? But it's not there alone, yeah? The center is for everybody. That's why it is a center. You don't see any center just for residents. Just uh, like Florida, just because we have not uh, repair and everything at that time, you know? And then we're busy. But later, they're also allowed to go there to meditate, no problem. Anything else? Okay. We love you. Ah, uh, cool. Huh? I copy you. <laughs> it's good for me to zigzag around the airports of the world. Huh? Who? Uh, not only you guys is <laughs> just too famous. I kind of shy. <laughs> yeah, I try to look different every time so I can <coughs> go out quickly. Yeah. Mm. Now you put me everywhere. I have nowhere to hide. <laughs> I'm very shy. Actually, in private, I'm very shy. I look brave, but I'm not so brave. I don't like people staring at me too much, you know, outside there when I'm just, uh, you know, casually walk by and all that. <coughs> oh, you don't know, also political stuff and, you know, since time immemorial, mm, the one who do this job has to really take care. If he wants to last long for his children <laughs> or her children, have to take care, really take care. Because I don't have bodyguards around, and I don't have guns, and I don't have anything. When I walk alone on the street, I'm alone. When I travel alone at the airport, I'm alone. Or maybe one or two persons. Because I could bring a lot of people also, but then I have different problems. It's even more attention catching. And I have to wait for this person and that person, and he forgot the shoes, she forgot the hat, and <sighs> I can never get out of there. <laughs> yeah. So I travel mostly alone, or maybe one person, a tough guy to, to take the luggage. And I don't bring a lot of luggage, so I don't want to check in. I have to go through fast. It's very inconvenient for me 
to be a master and do things alone. If I rely on you guys, uh, breed another problem. I have to tell you what to do and it takes a lot of time and sometimes you don't understand and you don't do it rightly and I so have to do it again, so I might as well do everything myself. But very inconvenient. Because sometimes I want to change the money, for example. You were already in the front. <laughs> I want to go book for a hotel. A lot of people are already standing there. See what I mean? So I sometimes I go out without money, without a good hotel. I just have to run out quick. Yeah. And last time I had to drive the stick shift, nearly kill myself <laughs> in Slovenia. Because the first time ever I drive the stick shift. I don't even know what the heck that is. <laughs> <laughs> I just drive. I want to get out of the airport. Too many people hanging around there and then they're trying to, to fall on the f floor <laughs> in front of me. And uh, uh, the, the guy just have that car. And if I go back in and get another car, it takes another half an hour. It's so much paperwork. And then he just give me like a two, two minute crash cross, <laughs> crash cross uh, uh, stick shift. <laughs> and it looked easy to me. So I said, okay, fine. <laughs> I stop every five minutes in the highway. Chaka boom, chaka boom, chaka boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I nearly got killed. And I put on the emergency light all the time and smile with everybody. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I got to the hotel. I honestly don't. <laughs> I honestly don't. When I stop, it don't start ever again. <laughs> you have to do so many uh, maneuvers. I am already a bad driver. I never drive before. And now it's stick shift, first time in my life, <laughs> my Jesus. Yeah, I think God, God must have been laughing upstairs. <laughs> I think, what's she doing there? <laughs> no, no, at that time, no, no, yeah. Anyway, I just a change so that I can get out quicker. <laughs> Sometimes, psychologically, protection. <laughs> it can change any time again, yeah. Okay. But it look cool, the color? Yeah. I don't even remember that I look blonde at all because I don't remember. I <laughs> sometimes I look in the mirror. <laughs> 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 oh, who's that? <laughs> sometimes because I, I don't I don't do this just to, to look at, you know? Just for convenience. You don't know, just like a spy, you know, like zero zero eight, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Worse than spies. The spies, he has so many instruments, he can fly away so fast and he can blast the enemy into dust. <laughs> Cinder, but I can't do all that. All, that. All, I have to, all I can do is just run or hide, shy away or do something. As I can run out fast. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't do it just to look, you know. So sometimes I forgot that I'm now blonde. So, so <laughs> in the night, when I wake up to you know, get out, do something, I turn the light on, I look, and then suddenly I look in the mirror and say, huh? <laughs> 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 I scare myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, to be a master is, 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 is more, more, yeah, more, I would say, complicated than being a spy. Mm. So I call myself zero zero nine. <laughs> 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 uh, you don't know half of the things I have to do to be here or to be anywhere in any country. You don't know. If I write it, 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 it is like a book of zero zero seven plus two. <laughs> 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 yeah, I do so many things that I forgot also. Sometimes I run so fast I don't remember the time. And the date, and I have to call Australia, call the foreign countries. Well, what time is it today? What day is it? <laughs> is it the lecture day yet? <laughs> what time? <laughs> because sometimes I forgot to turn on the, the, you know. For example, I run so fast. Sometimes one day two country, you know, and because the flight, you know, fly so fast, it's like the same country. I forgot to turn on the, the uh, to to change the the the, the alarm clock, <laughs> and I wake up just in time to run. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes like that, because I make the alarm, but it's, it's the old time. It's like two hours before or two hours backward. Yeah, it's a lot of funny things during the, the tour, yeah. 
You have your fun, I have my fun too. You, know? <laughs> you have your problem in the airport, I have also my problem at the airport. But most of, uh, God bless, God bless, yeah, God bless. He always, you know, give me inspiration to do something so I can, I kind of <laughs> run through quick. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, even if I, last time uh, the African tour, normally in Europe tour I went alone, huh? Most of the time, except sometimes there's one or two times somebody helped. Uh, most of the time alone. The African tour I wanted to go alone again because it's quicker, easier, even though it's very, very hard. Yeah, but uh, you have a hardship here and you have a relax uh, in another, t another uh, aspect, you know. You bring a lot of people. I told you already. Uh, complicated, yeah. Different nationalities and also personalities, <laughs> uh, equipments and all that. Uh, it's just troublesome. And so when uh, I wanted to go alone again, but they said, "Oh, Africa is different, Master. It's a jungle. <laughs> you, <laughs> you must, <laughs> you must bring <laughs> us." <laughs> so they have an excuse to include themselves in my schedule. It's fine. It's okay. It's already short. Short schedule, so it's not so bad. Um, but then uh, I realized that I bring two people with, you know, the the group is go different, but I bring two, two people, and it's it's not always very good. Yeah, it's not so anonymous as if I go alone. Understand? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just somehow different karma, you know. And sometimes they're stuck here, stuck there, and they answer not correctly, and then they check them, and uh, how much money you have, and uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, huh? Yeah. If you have money, you have a problem. You don't have money, you have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you go different country, you forget, you know? Like if you go into United States, you're allowed to take only like 10, you're allowed to take $10,000, US dollar. But when you go in another country, for example, in uh, South America, like, for example, say, Belize or Mexico, they allow you to take only, like, 2,000 U.S. dollars. Or in, maybe, in Nepal or something. I forgot, too many countries I forgot. And then you forget, because they translate it into their, their currency. Or, like, even in New Zealand, you're allowed to take 10, 5,000 New Zealand or 5? U.S. That's ten thousand uh, uh, New Zealand. You see. So what? Because they say ten thousand. Yeah. You thought, okay, I'm okay, but actually you're not okay. Because if you have like six thousand or five thousand, that means you over, you overloaded yourself with uh, New Zealand equivalents of currency. You see. So that's how we had problem also. Yeah. Just bring one person. He forgot that is ten thousand. It's not ten thousand. And then we also stuck a little, and then visa, uh, the agency say you don't need visa, but over there you need visa, blah, 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 and oh, everything. It's just so scary sometimes. You know, you are the supreme master, no problem, but <laughs> your attendant is not. <laughs> he has a supreme problem. <laughs> yeah, and the, the custom, you know, the custom officer, he's a supreme there. <laughs> In his little booth, he's a supreme master of all. Anybody go through him, <laughs> he control. He say yes, it's yes. He say no, it's no. Yeah. You see, so if you complain that I'm difficult, you should remember the airport. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that difficult. Yeah? Everyone could come here. I give you visa anytime. It just <laughs> yeah, just like that. In the old time, we don't have enough communication system. We don't have enough... Uh, how say um, transportation system, but we have a better uh, a better advantage. Uh, we could go into a small island somewhere and hide ourselves, yeah, and become self-sufficient, and nobody ever find out, and nobody bother, yeah, because most of the land at that time are still not uh, known to every country, and nobody own a, a lot of everything. But nowadays, you you cannot hide anywhere. You cannot do anything. You understand? Uh, even if we want to have a place just to hide, to meditate together, still we will not be left alone in peace. Yeah. So, okay, count our, count our blessing as long as it lasts. It's, it's nice, sorry. I apologize for this uh, very 
<laughs> primitive kind of uh, meditation hall, but we have a hall. You have a roof and all that because you can't build it here. You can't build this kind of hall anywhere. You understand? They just don't allow. They allow you to build a chicken farm or a big hall like this for chicken running around, okay. <laughs> but human cannot run around in this kind of, <laughs> of hall. You know that, yeah? Uh, chicken or pig or whatever, fine. So if you want to have peace, you can reincarnate again <laughs> as a chicken. <laughs> And you never have problem with visa or ID or anything, because just a few years and then goodbye. <laughs> you go into the water, <laughs> boiling. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sorry for the inconvenience here, but at least we we have peace here and we can meditate together for a while. And it's you know it's our home and we don't have to rush anywhere. Yeah. And I know you don't have uh, enough uh, land to, 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 to camp and all that because I don't know why they have to buy a place with so <laughs> so so tiny piece of flat land like that. But still, you okay, huh? Yeah. Enjoy, huh? Yeah, I enjoy you also. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. I, I appreciate that you come from a long way and... You don't mind sitting on the ground, dirty ground like that. But that was I. That's the way I used to sit in India, everywhere. It wasn't this. It's muddy, wet all the time. In the Himalayas, wet. It's snowing, you know, and it's raining, and people come in with wet shoes all the time, and you just sleep anywhere, and they walk on your head and over your head. And <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> India, man, this <laughs> is <it's> not. <laughs> they go on pilgrim, and you're one of them only, and they walk anywhere. Yeah. And uh, even if if you if they don't if you sit on your seat and if you they come in and they see you sit on the seat they just push you out and sit on it. <laughs> yeah. No matter if you're a woman or your nun, don't care. Yeah. Some some country are like that. So it's actually very good here already. If you have been to the worst, you would appreciate this. Yeah. Even though it don't look as good as I want it to do to be. Mm. But even then, if we could build a house like this. It will not be enough either. Later on, it will not be enough, right? So it's never enough, so we might as well get used to with the tent idea. huh? Yeah. Anyhow, it's a change for you also, right? I think you like it because you, you have enough with cement and concrete at home now. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> huh? Make you stronger? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. That's make you yeah. stronger. Because you carry a lot of luggage and... <laughs> Running up and down, right? And fighting for food. <laughs> yeah, and queue for bless uh, candy and whatever. Yeah, that's what I said. A lot of people ask me, Master, every other yoga that teach people exercise, and you know, why don't you teach your disciple also exercise? I said, no need, we exercise <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Natural, you know. And if anybody who wants to, 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 to slim down their figure, you know, just run with me through the airports, <laughs> you know, like me, you know, sometimes I, I run through the airports, I don't have enough time for transit, oh, I run like mad, <laughs> and when I come, <sighs> I feel like all the muscle is developed overnight, you know, <laughs> just, just two hours running is enough for all my feet and my, my legs and my arms to become very tough, yeah. So I, I don't think I ever need exercise at all, and neither do you. If we keep running for lecture like this, you know, from one airport to another, and sometimes the airplane is late, and our next airplane is already there, and then you know what exercise really means. <laughs> Especially when the, the escalator stopped. <laughs> no electricity. And then you have to run with all this stuff, huh? Oh, that's really exercise. Uh, the whole world with everybody who have like aerobic exercise program video all that nothing to nothing compared to us. If we video all this, you know, master and disciple all this exercise program, <laughs> we sell in uh, best selling <laughs> no time. Everybody, we, everybody will be amazed what we can do, huh? How many kilo and all <laughs> Okay, so you know our our method is the best, yeah, including physical exercise, everything packet tour. <laughs> and uh, tourism, everything together, right? Because of this method, you go everywhere now. 
every country you know. <laughs> yes, and it's the best, the best ever vacation you could have for body, spirit, uh, and and soul. Yeah, because you're running all over, you exercise. Yeah, and you eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and fresh air because we don't have any hall, so we just sit in, sit in under the, the sun, under the tree. We have always fresh air enough. Can you hear me at all? Behind there? Okay, good. And also, um, yeah, also the, the because you 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 relax, you know, you don't go there. Just you 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 don't need to go a special place and and rush in anywhere. Just go every city, every street, you know, everywhere because you giving the flyers and then you know you know the city inside out and everywhere. <laughs> very cheap vacation, huh? And and most people they go on vacation very stressful, you know. Sometimes if the pack is tour, they have to get up at what time, they eat what certain food, and they have to cram into the bus and, and just go, you know, just like a chicken in the <laughs> in the cage, you know. But you are free. Uh, you go into the, any city and you know the language right away. Where's the restaurant? <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Uh, and uh, hello and goodbye and all that. And then you turn the, the, the whole city inside out. You know everywhere. Yeah. You know, you can never go on a vacation and knowing people and knowing a country is so good like that. Yes, because you're too busy just uh, uh, backing yourself in the sun, uh, roasting under the <laughs> under <laughs> under the sunlight, yeah, on the sand, you know, like barbecue. Mm. Uh, useless, yeah. Like this, you're running around, exercising, and 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 I would say sunbathing at the same times, and come home, eat a very healthy, clean, hygienic food, and sleep in a beautiful surrounding with good friends, and we can chat and talk and have really, really a uh, very uh lively uh, uh, vacation style. If you go on vacation just with your wife, sometimes you fight, you know, have no, no fun. <laughs> yeah, really, really. Here you go with friends, and we all have the same idea. And we work together, and we come home and share jokes, and share silly events from outside, and today I know a better street, and that way, that way, and you know the people also, because you get direct contact with them. No vacationer can have this. Vacationer, they just have surfacely. They fly on top of the country, they land in a spot in the country, they stay there forever, back them inside out, and then just, <laughs> all they know is the waiters <laughs> and the concierge in the hotel and the taxi driver. That's it. You know, there's no contact, no real human contact the way you do. And you have so much blessing from doing this as well. This is the best way to be enlightened, help someone else enlighten. That's the only way, yeah? You get what you give, no? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And if you ask me what's the quickest way, it is the quickest way already. That's why our, our group is very enlightened group, compared to even if the same method group. And no one is as lively as you. I've been everywhere. I've been too many ashram. Nobody like you, No, none of the like. <laughs> You're so happy, you run around, you eat a lot, you talk, <laughs> you're happy. Contented and very lively and very happy people, very open, very open, yeah, very fast, very fast. Progress very fast, yeah. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I'm also very proud of many things you do, like the charity work and love your neighbor. That is the best student of the Bible. You are the best Christian, the best Buddhist, the best Hindu, the best Muslim. Because every religion tells you to do good, tells you to know God and do good, and you do all this. So you see, religion, huh? we are all the same. So once, once you enlighten, you know the essence of religion, and that's the truth. Yeah? You are the example. You are the living saint. You are whatever the Bible is uh, described, and the Buddhists. Uh, uh, Sutra as aspire for as a disciple of the Buddha and of Christ, uh, of Mohammed, whatever. Yeah, they would be so happy to have you as disciple, but I won't give them now. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, I'm proud of you. 
I see. I think that's why you 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 don't blame other so-called master if they want to get you and all that. You know, they tell you all the story about me. You know, I'm bad and all that, <laughs> and you don't care. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm bad, but you still love me. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, they love you. You see, don't blame them. Okay, they love you. They just see you. My God, who doesn't want you as disciple? I never saw any disciples so happy like this and so carefree, you know? So easy, easy, yeah. Because you're happy, you really have something inside to support yourself. Even though sometimes your mind tri trick you, you know, and say, oh, I haven't progressed, I haven't had this and that. But look at you, look at your life. Look at the way you live your life. Look at how you give yourself to the noble ideal of mankind, yeah? Then you know that you are good. There's no need for anyone to praise you or to confirm to you. You look at your life before and after, and you know, yeah? And that's why I'm very proud of you. That's, that's why many so-called teachers and masters, they like to take you to their group. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, some of them went there but come back. Because we are, we are very interesting here. <laughs> Not so boring, too serious, you know? We okay, huh? Yeah, we're we're cool. <laughs> yeah, we've gone through a lot of hardship and growing together, but we've gone that's a, a lot of a lot of happiness together. Yeah, and that's what keeps us together because we really have fun from inside. Huh? I'm really very proud of you. Very proud of you. The one who still continue practice and progress, I'm really proud of you. The one who think that he doesn't progress, he's stupid. <laughs> 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 Truly like that, yeah? Truly like that. So don't be tricked by your mind, okay? You are great. I am very happy. Yeah. If you don't believe me, just go shop around in other ashram, and you know what I mean. Yeah? Have you been shopping around a little? No. Oh. <laughs> Not as stupid. Oh, you should do. <laughs> just, just to see. I saw many uh, people follow Indian Master a couple years, three years later. I look back at them. The face is so black, and I say, what happened? And I can look back. I said, even the, the person is very... Um, The meditation very well in our group. It's still very shy before they leave. And after three years, you look back, you see, is it like. Shining, <laughs> shining. Yeah, very shining. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I, when I look at them, I, after they, they run uh, our group, they go to Indian Master, you know. They run away and yeah. run away. Yeah. Yeah. And you can imagine how, how they, they face is turned out black. You can even want to see again, you know. No, it's black in India, very hot. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they eat curry too much. <laughs> hot sun and hot burning inside out, you know, get black like that. Why? I don't know why, Master. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe you know, they uh, they follow in the Master. Don't have any progress for them and then different lifestyle. <laughs> different life. <laughs> Dark light. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know either. Yeah. Was they they f they run to them because they think they are my teacher or master better you know original or whatever and they also follow the light and the sound so it should be better or at least the same. No. No. Not master. What honey? Uh, from what I know, they don't do a lot of Kuan Yin like us. Their group meditation requires only an hour of uh, an hour or two of light, and then half an hour of 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 Kuan Yin, and that's it. Oh, that should be already not bad. A lot less than us. Hmm. What, honey? They don't do group meditation. No, they just meet together, but they don't do group meditation. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, what do they meet uh, together for? Talking. 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 Yeah. Mm. Socialize 45 minutes. Yeah. After the. 
Why you have so much experience about shopping? Yes? <laughs> tell, tell, tell us. <laughs> no, no, because when I work, people ask me, so that's why I have to know in order to explain to them. Ah, good excuse, yeah. baby. So <laughs> 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 no, 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 never no, mind. No, no, never no, mind. No. It's good. It's good to no, know. No. Because uh, when when we uh, uh, distribute the, f uh, the sample booklet, oh, and uh, okay. another person they call, they say, "Ah, you mm. you practice the same method?" We say, mm. "Yeah, yeah," and we exchange idea, and mm. they say, "Oh, you come and look at our group." And mm. I said, "Oh, you don't have to get initiation if you follow the same master." Mm. And I went there. Same and method is yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I say. And I see them to see to see how they're doing, mm. and they have only forty five minutes of uh, talking, mm. and after that, I think forty five minutes of uh, meditation. That's all. Mm. Well, that's still very good already. Yeah, and they they don't have a, like a, um, a group meditation every week, like a, you know, like. So how many? How often? Once a month. No, 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 no. Just in there talking and then sit there and, you know, for 45 minutes. Oh, that's they, a group meditation. They, uh, but they don't have, like, uh, the one yin, you know, like, uh, do the one yin. Oh. And they said, another group, they said that the contact person who worked there doesn't have to meditate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. They wow. Said, yeah. You, you, you move. <laughs> <laughs> they said that because they do the master's work, you know, that that's so a enough blessing. Yeah, enough cool. blessing for them, Man. you know. <laughs> oh, come to think about it, I'm just too harsh on you. I make contact person and meditate double. <laughs> yeah, because the, the, the higher you work, the more energy you need to, to do the work well, right? You carry two kilo and carry five kilo, it's different, no? Right. So here, contact person work double, so I'm sorry for you, you can move anytime. Yeah. <laughs> it's and more lucrative over there. Yeah, and I heard someone that the reason they want to follow that Indian master because they teach you level number nine. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and I, say, I told him that even here we to number five, we're not climbed to number first yet. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, that's the reason they want to say goodbye. I said, uh -huh. welcome, but somehow I saw him back. Yeah, sure. Yeah. He came back again. Uh, all of them came yeah. back. Yeah. Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> <laughs> I take you to the five, but that doesn't mean you stop there. You go anywhere you want after because you're a master already. You're free. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I told him that even the board, the number t level number two, we haven't reached yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're climbing now. Let's <laughs> 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 there. Never mind. <laughs> yes, yes. The African. Yeah. Master, I'm always just so grateful that I was lucky enough to find the best master out of all the masters. And I know I'm not supposed to compare them, but for me, I really feel that your power is honestly more supreme. I look oh, really? at their requirements compared to our requirements, and you initiate children from the age of six, and they only initiate people from 24, and you have to be a vegetarian for one whole year. Whereas if somebody's in your presence, they can get initiation immediately. So I look at this and I think to myself, I'm with the best master. Mm. <laughs> so Maybe I the name, supreme, the supreme master. <laughs> 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 Sometimes you pay for the name, you know that? <laughs> the name does work, huh? <laughs> yeah, we might just well be the best, huh? Uh, I'm, just, uh, n I'm just telling the truth all the time, even though I'm very shy. But I commit to honesty. So I have to tell you that I'm the Supreme Master even though I'm very shy. Yeah? I don't like that. That, that, that name gives me a lot of trouble. But uh, still we have to stick to it because we uh, stick to the truth. I'm not here to, to, to please people or to make people believe me or not believe me. I'm here just for the truth and uh, I'm stick with it. It's very simple. <laughs> My way only one road. <laughs> yeah, okay? The name does help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Supreme student, huh? <laughs> Not very arrogant at all, very humble. <laughs> like master, like disciple, huh? <laughs> yeah, even our children, they're very enlightened. They talk oh, so smart and they talk like saints already. They talk so, so fluently and so smoothly and so enlightened. Oh, come on, let don't turn it off. Just leave it on all the time. Go oh, to see you, you know, and I say, I'm gonna see Master. Would, would you like to to have something from her? I say, I just want my wisdom. 
<laughs> and tell her that I love her. I say, I'm so, I'm so happy. She don't want toys. Say, my wisdom. <laughs> Make sure you see, tell her for me. I know. I know. This is nice. Six years old. Six Martin. years old. Yes. 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 Remember the, the, the I kid. I did teach him that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Remember the kid who played Pinocchio? Yeah. yeah. Yes. When he came there, he did. I give him candy. He just ignored it. He didn't look for anything. He just stick his forehead, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I said, "What do you want?" He said, "Wisdom eye." <laughs> <laughs> My God, <Yes. laughs> so cool, huh? Yes. Yeah. Our kids are so, so lovely. So brave too. So, so brave. brave. Yes. Yeah, they're very nice. Easy to handle yes. and understanding quickly. Sensible. And that's very good. Thanks, Master. Thanks, God. <laughs> Today I come and uh, I really thank you and appreciate you take care of my son. Um, this August he be 20 and um, he took one year to be a bad person, you know. And um, whole those year he stay in the camp. Master always guide him and meditate with him, take care of him all the time. He told me even he sleep, he cry. Every time Master always be there and tell him, wake up him. And one time he get mad because he thought Master uh, leaving him. He say, Master, you told me you guided me from the good time until bad time. You always be there for me. Why you don't take care of me? You why why? And you don't pa you pardon me. You take care of me. And in the night time he, when he go to sleep, he he fed up. He don't want to meditate anymore. And when he go to sleep, Master say, Do you really say that to me? He say, Yes, I do say to you. Master say, No. You're very sick right now. I'll be there to take care of you. i care you on right now and be there with you with me because you're sick. Master have to take care of you. So he said one year he stay in the camp. Master always be there for him, wake up him, meditate. Even he sleep on the top of the bed. Master make sure he sleep right and wake up, meditate on time. And always talk to him all the time, constantly, 24 hours. I never... He told me, Master, because he cannot come in this trip, because he, they, can't, they won't let him until three years to see him. Master, I don't know how much to thank you, you to take care of my son, even if he do bad things. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he said, now, even before, he's, he's, he's so embarrassed to wear Master picture now. Picture of you always be in his neck. He said, without Master, I'm dying, Ma Mommy. Tell mother, I, I'm really sorry. I'm really a bad person, but now I won't do it again to hurt mother. It's okay. so <laughs> just a teenage kid. They do yeah. things. Yeah. Thank you very much, mother. I'm not angry with teenager. <laughs> no problem. Tell him it's okay. Hmm? Hmm. Bring some uh, candy for him. Yeah? He told me 24 hours you always be with him. Yeah, if he knows that, it's good. <laughs> he has to be bad in order to know. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't be jealous and try to be bad also. <laughs> of course, the doctor take care of the, the, the more intense, uh, s more sick person, no? Mm. Make sure that you're not sick, not make sure that you're next to the doctor 24 hours. No? <laughs> yeah. He's just a kid. Also, he in the camp, he talk about master teaching for everyone, and even he like a priest in the camp, and a lot of people over there and send my letter to me, and they say, God sent him for us. I, I say, if you know that, and thank you, God. And my my son always give the book for them to see, like, um, uh, I came to take you home. They transfer for everybody, and to see even the. The priest come to look for that master picture, and every time the all the people in the prison they uh, they make something bad, he always <laughs> hang around and say, "Don't do that. You will get request for something bad thing come to you." A lot of people try to trick people to get money. He say, "Remember, as you saw, so saw you read in the Bible. You say, and suddenly thing that guy happened right away, and that guy come to say, "Play back your master, forgive me." <laughs> And he told he told every story, and a lot of people write a letter for me to thank you, Master. Okay. 
That's the price he has to pay for being a priest in prison. <laughs> Sometimes uh, we had to do something in order to do something else, so it's okay. Tell him he's not a bad person. He's just, number one, he's a teenager. Number two, he has to do that to be there. Okay? Mm. Welcome. He knows already, no need to. <laughs> yeah. when, when you need the master most, that's when the master is there. But if you're in a normal situation, of course, don't be jealous, because you don't need. But of course, the master is there, but you know, no need to always come out and talk to you and interfere with your daily work. And <laughs> okay, hi, guys. Anything else? Crying? Hmm? Okay, huh? Yeah. What time is it now? It's still very early. Huh? Hmm. If no more question, no more story, then we go to bed. Or something there? Chung huh? San Jose. Okay. Uh, there's one uh, computer method practitioner. Uh, he learned the computer method uh, just Co after we come back from the uh, Thailand retreat. Convenient, yeah. Convenient method. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, after he learned the, the method, and every time he saw me in the group presentation, he told me, please, or he spoke very uh, little English, and he used very simple words. He just hold my hand very tightly. He said, please, Mr. Jim, please uh, take me to a master. I, I know she's the, the one that I'm looking for. Please, please, make sure, okay, make sure. And she spoke very simple, the way very simple, but very sincere, and even moved my heart very hard, you know, you know even just a campaign method. And she already um, so uh, earnest to, 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 to kneel with you. Because he knows something. Yeah. He, <laughs> he, he so knows, yes. He, yeah. Yeah. So you see, sometimes helping another is helping yourself. <laughs> it confirms your faith more. Because sometimes you meditate so lousy, you don't have experience. <laughs> and when you help another, he has so good experience, he tells you, and you feel, oh, oh, so Master is not so bad after all. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe I give her one more chance. <laughs> yeah. Yes, a lot of, uh, some, not a lot, but some of our initiate. Sometimes uh, the level is so high, like number four, you know, and I see nothing or dark. And <laughs> so, <laughs> but when, when they help another outsider, or sometimes the outsider have more experience than they do. <laughs> and then so they, you know, they get uh, like confirmation and they're more steady. So that's why I tell you, the way to enlightenment, the quickest is just to help another to, to be enlightened. <laughs> that is just the way it is. Just the way it is, yeah? Mm, as you sow, so shall you reap. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> it's funny, the more you give, the more you, you, you receive. It's just like money and everything else, yeah. Uh, in my store, you know, I always play the tap on Master, a world tour in Europe. And um, all my customers say, when Master come Houston, I say, I don't know yet, it, it belongs to God, you know. If, if when the time comes, we'll become. And... Um, and every time I, I, I intensely go to retreat, they say, see you go again, see the world too. <laughs> 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 and then I, I, uh, they told me, you know, how can it happen for someone like you, just a foreigner, come to my country and you know everywhere, I'm just one corner, I don't even know. I said, I said thank you, my master. And before I go, you know, all the people come and make sure, you know, Make sure you bring something home for, 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 for us to let us know about your master. Mm -hmm. And they always, every, sometimes it's like a 16, 18 years old girl come to my store and by the time, you know, a lot of people regret to see soba or something, she just ask me, she say, can you play your master tap? I want to see her more than see this thing. And I, I can imagine when 16 years old and 18 years old enlightened like that, want to see master more than other dogs. And some dogs, when they, they come over, like they make sure they come 7 or 8 o'clock morning so they can hear master more than come later. Mm. So I, I thank you, master. I can work and also I can do your job. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> because you are good. Mm. See, uh, all the Americans don't have money to travel around like that. <laughs> and all our disciples are so rich, I don't know why. <laughs> you work the same job before. Yeah. yeah. And they don't change nothing. Yeah. But you go everywhere. <laughs> and, and thank you. This business, you, you are for me too, 
Yeah, if you if you work well with God, he 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 helps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have so many stories, huh? Hmm. Yeah. I told you it's just the way of management. Yeah. You earn the same money but you can spend well. Before you don't seem to have enough. Yeah. Now you can go everywhere, huh? Not too many people can go around the world in your position, no. <laughs> have kids and all. <laughs> Husband and kids and house and mortgage and everything still go around the world. Yeah. yeah amazing, huh? Yes. Yeah. Now you can close your eyes and die and say, I know the whole world. <laughs> 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 know where I wish to go. Hmm? You know more than the, the, any tourists know. Because the tourists, they know only one spot. Yes. Yeah. It's fun, huh? Yes, yes. Yeah. Exercise and sightseeing. And <laughs> And, and, and enlighten at the same time. Yeah. That's why you're quick, you're quick, yeah. That's the way, huh? Mm. But I don't know why. Other, other masters, they also go around the world and, and also preach also. Why their disciples don't, don't, don't have any better <laughs> progress? Huh? Different master. <laughs> Different master. <laughs> Not supreme students. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. So it's very nice when we look back in the past years, we have done a lot of things together, huh? Yeah. yeah. And when you look at video, you remember this and that, and sometimes you see your silly face in there, say, ah, this is me! <laughs> huh? That's <laughs> mask. Oh, it's me, oh my God, it's me. <laughs> All right. Any other thing? Hi, you. welcome. Oh, Laura. <laughs> she, her house burnt. I don't know. How long it takes to build your house? Huh? How long it takes to build your house? Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Okay, never mind. I have given her some money already. If any of you want to give her one cent or two, it's okay. <laughs> Never mind, come on. It's, it's just simple. Huh? No need, no need. Okay. No. She's cool. She went to work and somebody called her from from near a neighbor and say, Laura, your house no more <laughs> 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 And she feels so very sad, but the neighbor was so good. She told me the story this morning. Yeah. And all the neighbor all the neighbor uh, before she came home, they, they clean everything already so that she don't have to look at the, the ashes. <laughs> Probably electric short circuits or something. Short circuit or something. But she says she learned a lot from that. Cause all the neighbors are so nice and all the disciples became so nice. Everybody is so giving. She said before she learned to give. Yeah, it's, it's good to give, but now she learned that to receive, you have to be also really very humble. And she learned so much love from the people. She was crying not because of the house, but because of the love of the people that she received. All oh, the children come out on the street and cheer her up and say, Hurrah, hurrah, Laura! <laughs> and make her happy, the neighbor children, yeah. In time of um, disaster, you know who is a friend, and you know God loves you. Hmm. Uh, Costa Rica. Poor Laura, now she has to stay in my house in Costa Rica. <laughs> she has no home, so she, she has to stay in my house. <laughs> in the center, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I came there just, I think, two years ago. <laughs> uh -huh. Again, that, that... Master my, dice que... Y yo siento que la casa nuestra no está en ese mundo. La casa nuestra está tu master. Yeah. Uh, he said he uh, thinks that our house is not in this world. Yeah, yeah, I understood that. It's just for other people. She says she knows that the house is up there, not here. Yeah. Of course. She told about the, the, the passport. The whole house burned. But the passport which she put behind my photo, 
uh, is not burned because the photo and the passport, that's the only thing that left. <laughs> yeah, let's tell it to them. That's what it is. That's why she's so happy. Yo siempre, cuando eh, vengo a, me gusta venir a los retiros de la maestra y pongo el pasaporte detrás de, de protección, detrás de una foto de la maestra. <laughs> yeah, maestra, to take care of her passport. <laughs> Thank you so much for a non-paid job. <laughs> todo se quemó, todo, menos la foto de la maestra y el pasaporte tampoco, y por eso soy aquí. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, he, he can, he, he's a Mexican. Yes, um, She says that every time she comes, she really likes to come to the retreat. She puts her passport behind Master's picture so that it's protected. And uh, this time, everything burnt except the passport and the picture. The photo. <laughs> yeah. The photo has to be there to protect the passport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody make me work and no pay. Look at this. <laughs> Even have to take care of her passport. It's funny. The whole house burnt. Can you imagine? And just the, 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 my photo and the passport behind the photo. That's the only two things that's left from the whole house. And the passport and the photo should be the one who burned first. Because there are papers. <laughs> it's amazing, huh? Yeah, that's why she run here. Otherwise, she cannot go so fast, I guess. It's good, huh? Passport. <laughs> the photo has to protect the passport, so... The photo cannot burn himself. <laughs> How can uh, the photo not burn and the passport not burn? Yeah. Just two paper put together. Yeah. It's amazing, huh? I see she's very faithful. She has great faith, that's why. Great faith. One of the modern saints. That's good. I love you, Master. I love you too, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Yeah, what's your question? Uh, my question is that I'm working with horses, and I horses uh, horses. Yeah. I have to train them, and I teach others to ride them, like oh, kids cool. and adults. And I sometimes uh, they, the horses need to get punished, so I don't know if it's like bad to ride them and to teach other people to ride them. To what? It's them? like if it's if it's not to good. Beat them. Mm, sometimes they need to be beaten because like the little ponies, they take advantage of the kids and then the kids have to tell them that they're stronger, otherwise the puts like take the ponies take them all, all, all over the place. Oh really? Mm, so like sometimes I feel a bit guilty like making the kids like handling the ponies strongly. And um, even when you want to train a horse, I mean it's like uh, punishment and carrot. If they do something good, they get a reward. Oh if that's they good. Don't, But if they don't do something, then you give them little punishments. So like what? Like you use a little whip to say, hey, like touch them on the bottom or so. The whip? Yeah. Uh, like just uh, like beat them? Not really strong. I mean, a little bit. It depends. Bit. If, if there mm. are many methods to train them, like you can do it a bit more psychological mm -hmm. if you know them better and you can do it with le uh, less punishment. Less That means the, the kids, they don't know how to. Uh -huh. So sometimes they, they're rough and they bump around on the horse and they mm. pull around on the horse. You and have to teach the kid to be more gentle mm. and more loved and the horse mm. listen better. So I don't need to change occupation. Or <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Sometimes mm. a little beating don't mm. hurt the horse that much. Mm. Just let him know that, uh, okay, di be disciplined. You know, mm. I think it doesn't hurt him that much. Maybe just a little yeah. a sting <laughs> stinging. Mm. Yeah. But no, the less the better. Sometimes they, they, they like love and they, they also listen to love. They're very emotional. And yeah, they have yeah. feelings like people. Yeah, then, then it's better using mm. love. Teach the kid to love them mm. and, teach, and uh, treat them with love. Sometimes I think maybe the horses should go out in the, in the woods or in the prairie and run around rather than be handled by people. Mm, mm. Depends. Uh, yeah, they have time to run around <laughs> and time to do some work, yeah. I had two horses when I bought the Florida Center. There was a big bunch, a whole group of horses and cows. They were belonging to the whole, to, to the center, which, uh, you know, uh, together with the price. But I thought we don't know, we don't use the cow and we don't know what to do with them, so I gave it back to the owner. But the, with the request, because I love horses also, I said, okay, then give me two horses only, one male, one female. So sometimes I run around with them. 
Okay, so they give me two horses. Not given, but I just take two, and the whole, you know, like 10 or over 10, they give it back to the owner. Because I'm worried, we, we, we don't know what to do with them, so we don't need them. Anyhow, I paid for it. It, it belonged to me anyway. Mm. But I took only two. And the two horses were very lovely, you know, the best there. But I didn't have a chance to ride them yet. And meanwhile, you know, one of the uh, residents took care of the horses and he gave them all the best apples and, the <laughs> you know, the best water and loved them so much. And they, they're very, they love also our resident, you know. Uh, so, huh? <laughs> and then later, but they also miss their, their, their group, horses group. So when I call and ask, how is my horse doing? They say, yeah, they're fine, they love us, but also they miss their own kind, you know, because the group was separated. So, and I say, how do you know? And they say that because they keep looking the, the other fans to see the other horses all the time. So, oh, and, and that broke my heart. I said, oh, give them back immediately. Return them to, to, the, the, to the, the group. I, I don't want to, to break their heart like this. So they return the, the horses to the, the, the ex-owner again, together with the group. And it's fine, and they're happy. I don't know, because we return and we return. And the owner make us have to sign even. Sign that we uh, voluntarily give back the horses. <laughs> <laughs> they, they worry that we, you know, we think they stole them or sued them. We don't do that, but you know, America, they are careful. So we sign everything and then we return the horses. So these horses are, 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 are ridden, you know, they ride, the owner, the owner's son, were riding the horses every day. And one day he, he ride the horses uh, through our center again. And the horses saw so you know, our resident, they fed him disciple be, uh, the apple before, and he just ran to Sao and kicked the owner in the ground. <laughs> he didn't do it on purpose, but he, he jumped so fast that the owner wasn't prepared. So he fell on the ground, and he ran to Sao and, you know, tried to hug and kiss him, you know, horse way. You know. <laughs> and he missed Sao too, because we treat him so well. Yeah, that he... he he really recognized, and so I didn't even saw him. He just busy working inside the center, inside the fence. But the horse saw him, and then he ran from the street, run into the center so fast that the, the owner fell on the ground. Oh. <laughs> and he was very surprised. It's never the horse never did that to him before. <laughs> Not over a stranger monk like that. <laughs> anyway, so you see, horse they understand everything. They lo mm. they are loving. There was one time uh, in the moon festival. You remember I ride some horses. Yeah, and one of it is uh, uh, one of the one I ride was a lady, yeah, the white one, yeah. And the the horse tender told me that he, she's very difficult, she's snobbish, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's not easy to ride her. So, blah blah, she don't even respond and all blah blah. Uh, but then I gave her apple, you know, through my hand, and she eat, and then she keep looking for more, <laughs> and then later she's cool with me. <laughs> she's very kind with me, very nice. Yeah, like we we very cooperated. Yeah. So horse they 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 respond better with love. Mm -hmm. You saw some films, yeah, Indian horses. There was a boy who was a uh, an Indian boy. He found his horses in the wild. He captured mm -hmm. him, but then he treated him with love. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they do everything together easily. Later somebody else uh, took it away from him, but treat him harshly and the horse don't 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 cooperate. Yeah. So uh, every animal is the same, mostly the same. If you treat them with love, it's better for you also. Because when you ride in a cooperative, submissive, and loving animal, it's still better feeling than riding a, a, an animal who might kick you off any time of their back, you know? You see? Together, to be one is better. So tell the kid to treat them with love. You show it to them, and they know how. You tell them, explain to him. Yeah. Thank you, Master. Ah, you're welcome. They're very faithful. In uh, old time, there are many stories that when the horse rider die, you know, and the owner die, the horse sometimes die with the owner. You know, they go to the tomb of the owner and sit there and or stand there and don't don't eat anything until they die. Also, they don't go away from the tomb where the owner die, or maybe don't leave the owner's body until they die. Also, They're very very faithful, very intelligent. Horse and dogs are famous for being very loyal. They're almost human. So it's just better we treat them with utmost respect and love. Yeah? It's bad enough that they are became uh, an animal and <laughs> be our servant. 
and getting, you know, rough treatment. So we better treat them with love, yeah? Horse is very beautiful. Mm. I love them. <laughs> Any other question? From the uh, translator, translator, the great <laughs> self. <laughs> you are doing okay? Nobody complain? I heard them laugh at the wrong time sometimes. I wonder what you're saying to them. <laughs> huh? You just tell them now, laugh, please. Huh? <laughs> I forgot the rest or something. What are you translating? French. French, okay. And you? German. German. Japanese. Mm. Yeah. Cantonese. Korean. 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 Huh? I'm a newcomer. Newcomer. Oh. Korean. 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 Hungarian. Hungarian. Korean. 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 Hungarian. Hungarian. Thai. Yes. Vietnamese. A lot, yeah. German, German. French. French. Russian. Russian. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> German. Indonesian. Chinese. Chinese. English and Chinese, too. Uh, take turn. Oh, back up. Okay, okay. Okay. That's cool. My God. <laughs> Which is like United Nations. Only more. <laughs> United Nations, they translate everything into six languages, right? Here we have 60, yeah? <laughs> yeah, a lot more, huh? Sometimes more than this, yeah. Thank you very much for being very uh, concentrated. Because if you don't concentrate, you can't translate well. I, I talk too fast. And I talk with slang and all kind of thing. <laughs> and sometimes switching between English, Vietnamese, uh, Chinese, whatever. And I'm very impressed by your talent. I don't think I could translate that well, to be honest. You have to really, really be professional and concentrate. Yeah, and dedicate. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes you translate wrong, I know, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we still have the video. We can always correct it. Yeah. Did you tape all your translation or not? In case later we can transcribe it? It's, n and it's, not, it's not possible, huh? Not possible, all that, huh? We don't have the equipment. We don't have equipment. Otherwise, we could record all that and later we transcribe and become a book. It's easier than, but it's okay. Never mind. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's true. Try, try, try. This is very good work that you're doing. You know that. I'm very proud of you. Hmm? <laughs> so talented. I don't think I could do it myself. Yeah. Yeah, really. I'm professional. Hmm. Yeah. The, the listener also not professional. So <laughs> Both are okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm also not professional either. So we are all not professional. That's fun. We just have fun. Yeah. If you make a mistake here and there, it doesn't matter. Because they have the tape and they can review it and then translate themselves. Yeah. Nowadays, there are machines for translation. Is this easy or what? How do they do? How do not so good, huh? How do they do in like in, in some of the, 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 the meeting room or some of the official room? You just push some button and then you have translation. Oh, what is that? There's somebody who sits behind there, right? Oh, okay, Manu. Okay, cool. All right, just like us, huh? My God, look at all that. Your equipment, oh, that's so cool. Can you hear everything, yeah? And you're not disturbed by noise and laughter and all that? Uh huh. You you plug your ears with the earphone. Oh, okay, just one. Yeah. Yeah. This a. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a hard job. It's good work. How many Hungarian that I need even you? How many Hungarian here that I even need you at all? <laughs> <laughs> Only you two translate for each other. <laughs> and Russia, how many Russian here? Yeah, some Russian here? Oh, wow. Fancy that, huh? Okay, all right. <laughs> no, it's good, no, it's good. Well, even one, they need to understand. It's more fun when you understand, yeah. 
So tomorrow somebody have to translate for Laura, huh? Maybe if, if she sits somewhere, she can hear it better. But just one, huh? One Spanish only? <laughs> she's omnipresent. She's everywhere, you know. Everywhere she would go. Yeah. Don't have money, but look like rich lady. Travel everywhere. <laughs> Even buy a ticket for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right then. Okay, guys. Thank you again. Yeah. You don't have any question, really? Yourself? Okay, it's all yours. Take some more if you want. <laughs> huh? Like it, huh? My God. Like it.